Gabby and today I'm coming on to do a video of a review um, and this is more of like a mommy and baby video for all the new moms or expecting moms or whatnot. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Medela Calma. My wreath's right here. She's actually kind of tired so I'm going to talk about the bottle a little bit and the um, Calma nipple and everything and then I'm going to actually fix her a bottle so she can have it and I'm going to put her down for a nap. So this item was sent to me um, several months ago when I was still expecting. Um, I received it from Medela and I was so anxious to try it out but you know with the complications that I had with the pregnancy and Aubrey coming early I was unable to use it right away. Um, a lot of uh, people get this bottle because it's said to be very very close to the breast and um, switching from bottle to breast it says switching from bottle to breast has never been easier. So. Um, I was really, really appreciative of this because with her being born prematurely, um, they really didn't want to put her on the breast at first because they said it was using up so many calories for her to try to suck from the breast. When she was born, um, you know, she was two pounds, 13 ounces at birth, so she was kind of tiny. So this was great for getting her acclimated and switched onto the breast from the bottle. So I'm going to take this out of the pack so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Okay, so she just uh, went down for a nap. So I'm able to tell you guys about the comma. This is the whole thing together. So this is the comma nipple. And this is actually just a cover right here. You can pump your breast milk into this part. And you can store it by just putting the cap on. This cap also doubles where you can um, put on the bottom of the actual comma nibble portion of it so it snaps and you can screw it on like that and you can just put the top on if you want to actually protect this part as well like if you're traveling unlike other bottles when you hold it upside down no milk comes out the only way that the milk will actually come out is if the baby is sucking on the nipple and it comes out at their pace so you don't need a different size nipple you don't need like a smaller size for smaller babies the only milk that will come out of this is what they're actually pulling from it so I fill this up with a little bit of breast milk and I'm gonna feed this to her when she actually wakes up it's held upside down and you can look inside the nipple nothing is coming out whatsoever like she's actually gonna have to suck on this to um, create the flow of the milk for, for coming out so that's pretty neat. So it consists of three different parts. So the milk flows through this hole. It then hits this part, which is actually closed. It has a slit in there that you probably cannot see, but it has a slit in there um, where the milk would flow through as the baby is sucking. And the third part is the actual nipple right here. So the nipple goes on top like that and this part you just use the three little grooves that you have stick it in there and there you have it so one of the benefits is that you can effectively switch back and forth between the breast and bottle feeding I've heard from a couple friends that they were breastfeeding exclusively and when it was time for them to maybe have a few hours out um, or if they had to go back to work, it was very, very hard to transition their baby to a bottle. So the comma is perfect for that if you've had that issue. Um, it was perfect for me because of the opposite issue. Um, when Abby was born, she was in the NICU because she was premature. And because of the fact that I was pumping and taking milk to the hospital, she was getting bottles exclusively for the first few weeks of her life. So when she came home, and I wanted to start breastfeeding her. It was kind of a struggle for me because she was already used to the bottle. So the comma helped me because she actually got the feel of having an actual bottle nipple per se in her mouth, but then it started to make her suck to, so that she could actually pull the milk out of the bottle and out of the nipple, which in turn helped me to start breastfeeding her because you know when you have a regular bottle, if you hold it upside down, the milk's already coming out. The babies really don't have to work for it at all. So the combo really, really helped me out in that manner and I was able to breastfeed Aubrey after she came out of the hospital. 
So all in all, I would say that this is definitely something that you may want to try if you're breastfeeding. Um, it is a little bit on the pricey side. However, it's definitely worth the buy. Um, if you're breastfeeding and you want to be able to go back and forth with your baby between the bottle and the breasts. A couple more benefits of the comma which um, are listed on this card. It says that the comma mimics your baby's natural feeding behavior so your baby can relax, pause, breathe and it's very very similar to breastfeeding. Um, the comma doesn't leak and it's vented nipple helps to reduce gassiness. Um, it's a very easy transition from the bottle to the breast and the comma only flows when the baby is sucking because it creates a vacuum effect um, from the nipple. Also, the comma is compatible with all Medela breast milk bottles. So if you already have some of the little storage containers, which I had um, previously, because I have a Medela breast pump. I've, I've been using the InStyle Medela breast pump and I have a lot of the storage bottles. So it's great that the comma actually snaps onto all of the Medela bottles. I definitely wanted to thank Medela for sending me this wonderful item for review. Um, I know it took a little while for me to get it up, so I do apologize for that to you guys. But um, I was so grateful to have the comma. I did not want this video to be very, very long, so the next thing I'll do is um, show you guys Aubrey using the comma. And if you guys have any questions or comments about this, please leave it below. Aubrey just got up from her nap. Uh, I changed my hair up a little bit because I pulled it out. But So here's the bottle. She's hungry right now. So you can see. You see the milk just came down into the bottle. Or it just came down into the nipple rather. She actually really, really loves this bottle. It's not too much for her to suck on and um, it's flowing just like the breast would flow. So 